Hey Cubic Gang, Alfred here. Today we are going to be reanalyzing my 14 seconds average of 5 which I filmed last 2 years ago. As we can see, these two pieces were one move away from being solved and the other cross pieces are here and here. I also track my first pair which is this edge and this corner. I did the cross like this, align the cross and go straight into solving this pair on the back. I paired up these two by doing F moves like that and insert on the back and go straight into solving this pair. Luckily, after inserting this pair, this was a split pair, inserted on the left hand side, I got soon and the perm. The cross solution on this solve was pretty nice. I inserted this first pair on the back which is very ideal. Now on this case, instead of doing that to pair this up, it is better to set up the pair like that insert into the back and undo the setup move. As we can see these two pieces were one move away from being solved and the other cross pieces are can be solved using R and D moves. But I did it on left and I preserved this pair. I did U prime first, then D prime, solve this, solve that, and align the cross. Insert this pair on the back. Then I am looking ahead to this terrible F12 case, but that's okay because to maintain the flow, I solve this pair. I pair up this pair using F moves, then insert. Then unfortunately, I have this F2L case and I need to solve it on the back left. But this case is not as bad as the other cases so it is also okay. Then I have this very easy T-shape OLL and G perm. There is a better way of solving this cross and first f 2 l pair. It is by solving the cross on this position so that your moves will be R and D. So move this f 2 l pair using U prime so that it won't be disturbed. Solve the white and blue, then the orange and blue. Instead of doing D, I will do white U so that I won't have to rotate when inserting this pair. This time, I had a very inefficient X-Cross. As we can see, we have this 2x2x1 two by two by block. What I did was, I move up this cross edge first, then insert it like this, move this cross edge up, then insert it like so. And my second pair was these two. I inserted it on the back. Then I noticed that I have a pair here that is made but it is on the adjacent slot to where it should go. I did U2 and insert. Now rotate to solve this pair on the front side and this algorithm and RB perm. Obviously the better solution for this scramble is to solve this edge first. Align the cross and solve this pair on the back. What I did was solve this blue and white first. D prime R to solve this white and red. B2 and I forgot to mention that I also track my first pair which is this Christmas pair. <laughs> I insert it like so. 
this pair pair on the back left then what I did to preserve the edges was rotate rotate back insert I did COLL PLL skip I saw these two cross pieces like this and insert this block and go straight into solving this edge so that when I align the cross we can form an X cross. Then this pair was next. This isn't a good situation because we saw the first two F12 pairs on the front but luckily I saw this corner and this edge so I rotate this way insert this into the back but sadly i got the worst f12 cake i did u2 and split this pair up like that so that i can preserve the edge orientation and instead of doing back soon which will give me u perm i did u anti soon which gave me an h perm for this f case, you'll just need to do a sledgehammer, then solve this f pair by doing that. And in this case, you can also do winter variation. As we can see on these solves, I had a lot of pauses and I always look on the back. So make sure if you want to go beyond sub-15, your f solutions must be great your cross plus one must be good and your look ahead is also decent also i recommend learning full oll and of course full pll coll is slow for two-handed in my opinion i only use coll for one-handed thank you so much guys for watching this video please like subscribe and comment again this is alfred and i will see you all in the next video